What's up everybody? This is Whiskey in the Six. I'm Rob and I'm doing a scotch for the first time in over a month. I just finished my bourbon American whiskey month in the month of August. It is now September. As of tomorrow I will be back at work as a teacher. Summer's over. We start a little bit later here in Toronto. We start uh, the first week of September. So if September starts on a Friday, we usually wait till the next week to start. So this is a long weekend and now Tuesday we start. Anyway, Octomore 6.3. All right. This bad boy is a Brook Laddie. I poured it out already. When this was first released, it broke records for the amount of peat used in this particular whiskey. It has 258 ppm. ppm stands for uh, phenols per million, which is basically how much peat there is in the whiskey. Um, this is edition 6.3, like I said, and it's aged for five years. That's right, you heard right. Five years. I was able to pick this up thanks to a buddy who traveled to Alberta um, for around $160, but this goes for a lot more in Ontario. The Brookladdy Octomores go for around 225 to 250, depending on which one you get. There is a new 8.3 that broke the record, I believe, of the 6.3. It is a higher PPM. I haven't had a chance to see it personally, so I don't know exactly what the PPM on that one is, but. As far as I know, it broke the record. So we'll have to wait and see for when I actually acquire the 8.3. Um, I wanna share with you guys a quote because school is starting and this was given to me from a student. It's a quote that I push on my students quite often. It's the famous Ernest Hemingway quote, there's nothing noble in being superior to your fellow man, true nobility, lies in being superior to your former self. That's what we're doing here, guys. We're just trying to be better than who we were yesterday, not worrying about what everybody else is doing. Um, in the next little while, I'm gonna be doing some things to hopefully improve this channel, and that's what this is all about. Getting the message to you guys in a better way, hopefully. Being able to buy better products for you guys to get an understanding of what you should be buying. That's my little spiel for today, and now on to the whiskey. Of course, you're gonna get smokiness on this one. I always say it smells like barbecued ribs. With like honey drizzled all over those barbecued ribs. Or a very sweet, sweet, brown sugary barbecue sauce. A little bit of bacon in there as well. Candied bacon, like something you would get at a dessert factory where they make those caramel infused bacon, whatever, chocolates or, uh, you know. This does not smell 64%. If I haven't shared that already, this is 64% alcohol by volume, not 64 proof, 64%, all right? That means it's 128 proof. It's up there. And it's only five years old, but you do not get any alcohol burn whatsoever on the nose. Now, the peatiness does mask a little bit of that alcohol intensity. So that is to be expected on all peated, whis uh, peated whiskeys, and that's why a lot of people really enjoy the peated whiskeys. But at 64%, you can literally stick your nose right in the glass here and not have to worry about overwhelming the senses. Okay. Now, the, the funny thing about this one is it smells very different than it tastes, so I'm about to taste it. There is a touch of heat. 
but definitely drinkable at 64 percent if you're gonna add water be very careful add a couple drops taste it add a couple more taste it it should be around perfect at that four drops maybe a little bit more but for me I prefer this actually right out of the bottle 64 percent it's just got so much going on it's so full you get that smoky barbecue flavor some sort of like maple drizzle in there or honey I'm not sure what casks they use it's not disclosed much like many of the things that Brook Laddie does this is the Isla Barley one um, I wish I knew I feel like there has to be some sort of wine influence for it to be this sweet or just really really good bourbon barrels but I'm not 100% sure So the head distiller, Jim McEwen, I think it is, um, made this one in particular. I think since then he's stepped down. So there's somebody else making the whiskey. This is kind of similar to the Black Art 4.1, 5.1 situation where the 4.1 was made by Jim and then somebody else stepped in now and made the 5.1. I've tasted both and I've noticed a big difference. Um, I'm gonna save that for if I ever do a Black Art 5.1 review, but there is a difference. This guy knew exactly what he was doing. This whiskey is absolutely incredible. Um, this is gonna be my first A plus for a peated whiskey. It's better than any peated whiskey I've ever tasted. I've tasted some famous peated whiskeys, Ardbeg, um, Yugi, I guess a lot of people call it. Um, Ugedal, or I forget how it's pronounced. Um, the Ardbeg 10, I've had uh, Lagavulin's, which I've really enjoyed, the 16 and the Distiller's Edition. Both excellent whiskeys, both really, really nice Peter whiskeys. Um, I've had a whole bunch of Laphroaig. This is just better. I will be coming up with a Laphroaig Select video very soon. I have a bunch of samples. Once I'm finished these samples, I don't want to do too many more samples. I'm just going to be doing bottles after that, um, unless it's a live video where a friend of mine has sent me a sample and we can do the live together, them showing the bottle like I've done with um, Jamie Johnson. If you had a chance to see that live event that I recently did to, um, you know, for the finale for Bourbon Month. Uh, I did it with Jamie Johnson and then Bubba and the Beard, similar idea. We did the George T. Stag together. They sent me that sample, so we did it together live on my channel. Um, but I would like to make, do more full bottles. I'm gonna give you another look at this bottle. The bottle's awesome. It's one of the nicest bottles I've ever seen. Um, the box is super cool too. It's the tin that Brook Laddie's known for. They use it on the black art and pretty much all their expressions. But this one's much taller, Black Art's short and stubby. Brook Laddie's awesome, okay, I'm, I'm a big fan. I All the Octomores that I've tried, I've loved. I really love the 4.1 Black Art. I'll let you know how I feel about the Black Art 5.1, but I guess you can tell by my demeanor how I feel about that one. This is awesome though, this is an A+. This is a high A plus for me. Not quite an A plus plus, so you're looking at the 94 range for me, okay? It's pretty much as high as it gets until you hit the, well, maybe even 95. I, I'm gonna get this on paper one day for you guys, but for me, that's one of the best I've tried this year, for sure. And my whiskey of the year will be coming up in December, so stay tuned for that as well. Um, I will be launching something shortly. This way we can kind of share information back and forth a little bit easier i'll let you know when that comes and i'll tell you all about it all right guys for now that's an a plus happy to be doing scotch again i loved my bourbon month it was it was very educational but i'm happy to be back at scotch and back at work tomorrow cheers